This is a story of love in the desert, but it's nothing to do with Iraq. It's a fantasy tale of mythological creatures, the centaurs, half man and half horse. These four centaurs lived in a desert kingdom which backed onto the sea, as you can see. One day, one of the centaurs heard music coming from the water, and so he trotted into the shallows to investigate. There he was, trotting back and forth until suddenly there was a splash, and do you know what happened? A mermaid actually jumped out of the water onto his back, where she continued to sing a siren song until he went deeper into the water and disappeared from view. So much for the first centaur. That just left the other three, who'd not seen this happen. And then one of the others started to hear music coming from the water. So he went in to investigate. Another splash, and a mermaid jumped onto his back, singing a siren song and dragging him further into the deep waters. Now the other centaurs were starting to get alarmed. Let's see what happened. Who would be the next victim? Perhaps it looks like this one here. The last one was not so bad as these three. He'd seen what happened, so he plugged his ears with wax. He trotted around in a circle and let out a huge wail, a cry of the desert, and the fourth mermaid jumped onto his back. But he couldn't hear a siren song, and he galloped away into the desert to take her to an oasis where he could keep her captive until he could save possibly his friends here. The mermaid relied on the centaur to survive, and over a period of time they actually fell in love. She assured him her friends had not truly been harmed, and that was the case. The first one returned from the water with no mermaid and no memory of the event at all. And the same could be said of the second centaur. Occasionally, he could think of a tune repeating in his mind and couldn't remember why or what it was all about. And the third centaur returned from the sea too, otherwise unharmed and no memory of the event. After a period of time, of course, this mermaid talked the centaur into taking her back so she could visit her relatives in the sea. And she was true to her word because they were in love. So she did go into the sea and didn't drag him in. But while in there, she negotiated a ceasefire and tried to make it so that the mermaids would not draw the centaurs once more into the sea. The centaurs and mermaid lived in harmony happily for many, many years. And whilst there are no centaurs now, or no mermaids, there is the result of their union. A new species introduced to the sea which still survives today, the hippocampus, more commonly known as the seahorse. To some this may be a little work of art, but to others it's just another fishy tale. <laughs>